Hi YouTube. Um, I'm not going to show how I made these because I've made them three times. I made this video three times and I think I was too long <laughs> each time. So I'm just going to give you the measurements and show you each one um, that I did and hopefully um, I'll be able to do another video at some point um, actually putting them together but it's not difficult. Um, this is the first pinwheel. It's a double, all of them are double layered. Um, same squares you cut out. It's a two and a half, no, two and three quarter inch cut on each square. Um, this one, you need two squares and you're going to cut them all into triangles. So the first, um, the first square you're going to do, and of course you'd want to do this on a cutter to make sure that your cuts are nice and even. You should cut in half um, at an angle and then you're going to cut in half again. And that's how you create your um, the smaller pinwheel petals, I'm going to call them. Um, this, you take your left on your left side you're going to put your longest flat side of your triangle to your left and you're going to do all of your petals the same way then you're going to pull in that left corner and that's how you're going to create your petals um, I'm going to just staple this temporarily for right now so well not temporarily I'm going to staple this but it would be good to use the mini glue dots that way you'll, um, you'll be really good for covering up all your mechanisms all your workings this one um, once I was completed I used a tiny brad and that's why it's good to use as opposed to staples it's good to use your glue dots so in any event you will need a, um, a base and I used a one and a, I think this is a one and a, a quarter or a one and a half inch circle. I folded it in half. I did say I wasn't going to show how to do this, didn't I? And I always seem to get caught up in not have enough time. But anyway, um, once you fold in half, you'll have like a four grid pack pie. That way you can line your petals up in each one of the grids. And what you're doing is you're alternating. Um, all your petals are going to go the same exact way each time. That way, when you're completing your pattern, it's all alternating, you know, properly to create that look, that pinwheel look. So anyway, this um, this was made with again the two and three quarter inch square cut into fours um, at an angle and then cut each one of those triangles in half. The bigger one, this was created using the same two and three quarter inch um, square, but I just cut in half and I used the entire half to create the petals. So it's the same concept. Let me flip this over this way so you can see better. Same concept, the longer side of your triangle is going to be to your left then you'll take that left corner and fold in to create your petal you're gonna glue I stapled you can staple as well but you're going to need a bigger brad to make sure you cover up all those workings brad or a button or you know they've got these really large uh, retro style brads now that are huge that would be really cute in there um, on this one, um, these I use double sided paper. This one I liked the, the print of the paper on the one side, but the other side was white because it's a single sided paper. So I missed it and um, covered up the white, and I, I'm glad how that came out. I used um, Inchworm Glimmer Mist, and I don't remember the name of the other one, but it's like a turquoise color. And it's not Glimmer Mist, I'm sorry, it's chalkboard um, paint chalkboard glimmer mist and um, I love it it has a beautiful shimmer a lot of it comes out 
very pastel like as opposed to it's a really thick and opaque look in the um, in the bottle but it's a very subtle and beautiful look after the fact so anyway those are my pinwheels and again if I can get it together and not over talk on these videos um, I might be able to post a how-to one <laughs> but thank you for watching and have